What lies behind the curtain of tourism? As overland travelers, will we discover what most fail to see? We're taking to the back roads of this Central American destination to uncover its least seen and rarely advertised attributes, however disturbing or beautiful they may be. We've just crossed the border into Belize in the truck that we built in 100 days. We only have seven days to explore this country, but you'll hear more about that coming up. Right now, we're looking for a safe place to set up and plan our first move. This is what it's like to drive and live in a 4x4 motorhome and travel through Central America on a budget. It's so cold. It's so cold. Winter coat. It's freezing out here, sweetheart. Burr. I just <laughs> protecting myself from the rain. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. Is it possible to experience and get an idea of an entire country in just six days? Is it possible to see enough to say you've really been there? Will your conversations impact them as much as you? Cool. The soil that you walked on, did it teach you something? Check it over. Last night we got absolutely assaulted by these disgusting flying ants. I don't know why they love the Chinook, but man, they were doing everything they could to get inside. When the food found your tongue, did the hands that make it matter? When you cross that invisible line again, will your questions have answers? And do you want more? Or do you have more? Our adventure through Belize is brief, and not entirely on purpose. However, navigating through the rainy season of Central America has quickly changed the beverage in our hand from a cerveza to an energy drink. Well, I think we're going to air down now. This is a nice obstacle, you know. Before that obstacle, we have to make sure to not fall off the uh, bridge. <laughs> Looks like we're just wide enough to get over this, what's left of the bridge. Some pretty sticky, muddy sand clay. Arizona vibes for sure. See how the Falcons do. Looks like they're ejecting it pretty well so far. Not airing down too much. Just going to 15 in the front, 30 in the back. This will be the first time the Chinook's been in four-wheel drive in a, in a minute. I'm excited. In a new country. Yeah. Now when you search Belize on Google, you'll receive images of keys, tropical birds, Mayan ruins, guided cave tours, and all kinds of crazy snorkeling activities. All very appealing, but with only six days and an overlander's budget, we were quickly starting to realize that this adventure was not going to be powered by Google. We were going to explore Belize authentically, following our noses and letting the intuition be the guide. Our budget doesn't allow for paid campsites every evening, so we're going to have to get creative. One of our favorite parts about using Gaia maps is the fact there are no images attached to the landmarks. You have to roll the dice and find out for yourself why something was worthy to get placed on a map. And that, my friends, is why we have an 80 series chassis. <laughs> this route is meant to be a shortcut, an off-road shortcut to the pin that we have on Gaia Maps. While this clay may not look super treacherous, one wrong move will put you in a ditch, and you'll either be winching or digging out the max tracks. That's if you can find a tree big enough to even put cable to. The trail is getting less and less obvious. Not wanting to test our recovery skills today, we're choosing our lines carefully. 
although it's pretty clear that nobody has driven this area in quite some time. Looks like the last guy fell in the hole. We'll try not to do that. There wasn't a sign for turtle crossings. I'm glad I saw him. I'm glad you saw him. Look at this clay boy. <laughs> This forest reserve covers over 100,000 acres. And with that amount of land, it's a great place to experience the natural Belize. Rivers, back roads, waterfalls, caves, and even some Mayan sites. But also some things that might be less expected. There's some really cool quartz in the earth here. And also what apparently was an old Turpentine factory. Not much left. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you reckon? Um, welcome to the History Channel. This is an old turpentine factory. History. <laughs> Anything else? Um. It's becoming increasingly more clear that our shortcut is not a popular one. While the road exists on our map, we've only checked the next few hundred meters. How's the rest of it look? It's good. It's just a bridge and then an epic hill climb. Okay, so our new motivation to get off this trail is that guy right there. We do not want to do this clay in the rain. Broken down bridge wasn't gonna stop us, but something else might. Easy. Easy money. Incline, the track narrowed, with two steep ditches framing the sides. We pushed it a little too far off camera and almost got ourselves in an intense recovery situation. We're backing out of this one and finding another way to our pin on the map. Well, dang it. That's too bad. That I feel was like we're back home. That was uh really <laughs> unexpected. Yeah, that was sketch. That was not cool. There was one more obstacle to get us back onto the main track. Let's see how the Chinook does flexing through this slippery and sticky mud. Almost lost it for a second there. But luckily, we're back on the track just as the rain comes. Raining, but it's not that hot out. It's a good bargain. We finally found a thing. After many attempts. If you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing if you aren't already. It's free and it really does help this channel out. We just found a bag of water floating, refreshing drinking water.
in a bag. That's new. It looks so inviting. Kind of like a mouth. A world so booming with life that was left to exist the way it always has. Plants fit for dinosaurs' bellies lead us to our next destination. Cave was all that was written on our map. But what this place emanates is so much greater. A tunnel for giants, a place for ceremony, a home to take your last breath, a colossal mouth in the earth with vines hanging like hairs and a mustache. An act of nature that forces you to find beauty in the darkness. That's a no? It's gonna be a nope. Big nope. <laughs> you didn't bring your spelunking gear? Uh, I also, also forgot mine. Oh, yes. Yeah, I forgot my swimsuit. Your swimsuit? <laughs> well, Belize has a lot. <laughs> Cool, unexpected surprises. Oh, like pine forests that remind us of Arizona. And caves <laughs> that remind me of other planets. <laughs> yeah. Free caves, everyone. Yeah, that's really cool. So is it time to find camp or think about finding camp, you think? Yeah. 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 Cool. Do we have any options around here? Um, not around here without a permit. We can go back to kind of the beginning or we could try and camp by the lake, by the dam. I just don't know if anybody's going to come bug us for the permit. Right. Okay. Do you think it'd be better luck heading back to... towards the city? Most likely. Alright, well let's check the map out and assess. With only a few days to explore, when we choose a camp spot, free or paid, our hopes radiate through Sunday's roof that they'll provide because we don't have time to jump around trying to find a better camp. So we've got our fingers crossed that this one will be worth it, but we'll just have to wait and see. From the Pine Ridge Forest Reserve in the west, we're traveling east towards Belmopan, the capital city of Belize. We'll be looking for a spot on the outskirts of town. Fields occupied by hundreds of horses curl the corner of Stacy's mouth towards the sky. And we're about to find out if we're laying our heads near a river tonight. We turn and follow a narrow road and can see the evening light twinkling on the waters. Stacy hops out and I guide the Chinook as she takes the perfect shot. Pretty magical. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this oh. is really awesome. This is so stunning. Well guys, this is super exciting. Day two in Belize, we crushed out a very long day of driving, four wheeling, adventuring, sightseeing, and now we're enjoying this epic free camp on the river. It's so glorious. We can't believe we're the only ones here. And yeah, we're excited because I get to try my first red stripe. <laughs> Stacy has never had this fine imported Jamaican lager. Yeah, I've been, you know, slacking by just drinking craft beer. Yeah. Take a beer. Dang, it's actually really good. Yeah. Good flavor. Yeah, it's a nice beer. We've got monkey friends. <laughs> like usual. The border crossing was smooth. Another piece of the pie is at the Belize border. They asked us how long we're gonna be in your country. Oh uh, yes. 
and uh, we looked at each other and we said, you know, seven days. So, because usually we, we just thought you'd just give a rough day. And we found out when we left and we looked at our TIP that that date is set in stone. It's a very strict number. Seven days. So we have, yeah, well, we have now six full days. Legally. Legally to explore this place. Yep. It's not that big, so we should be able to crush it. But yeah, this is going to be fast paced travel, which we're not entirely used to. So that's the plan. Our neighbors were a little louder than we might have liked. But the river was peaceful, and we got a good sleep, for the most part. Day three in Belize and we woke for an early start to drive a road famous for its captivating beauty that lies between us and the Caribbean coast. Oh, yes. <laughs> Our map is leading us down the Hummingbird Highway. This road was made for travelers like us. We travel at a slower pace, naturally, and this allows us to see the smaller details and signs you miss at higher speeds. We notice the colorful homes peeking through the jungle and fruit trees that are flourishing. Cows happily grazing in hills from miles away and the kids run out at the speed bumps selling whatever their parents are growing. Also take a slower pace so we can spot who's hiding the coolest old Toyotas behind their homes. Holy frick, that's the ocean. I see it. I see it. Through the new blanket of humidity, we're directing ourselves towards Hopkins. From the little research we did, our initial plan was to check out the seaside town, maybe have lunch and escape back inland to camp somewhere cooler. As history would show, plans like this should always be written in pencil. Okay. What's up dudes, that's a nice boat you got. Yeah. Do you know how to drive that thing? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You look like a pretty good captain. Yeah, you are you know how to drive too? We got two captains. Huh? Two captains? I'm his captain. <laughs> we just had the most fabulous, unbelievable gift given to us. And we gotta tell you exactly what that is, but first we gotta go get some lunch. Because we're hungry. <laughs> first night with air conditioning on the entire trip <laughs> and it was glorious it was so cold that we turned it off <laughs> this is amazing we're very grateful so we met Egan and his mom when we were driving through Hopkins and we got to chatting he had actually his friend had shown him our YouTube channel only days before and then he saw us driving through his hometown in Belize yeah in perfect timing yeah, and 
yeah, they just opened up their world to us, and we couldn't be more grateful for that. Yeah. We got to stay in their little cabana with this incredible view. Yeah, we feel very lucky. Very blessed. And yeah, just had a really authentic Belizean experience last night. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. And now we're planning our next move. Yeah. Yeah, what started as just a drive-by through this cute little town ended up being one of our favorite spots in Belize. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Still a bunch of stuff on my lens. Yep. I don't know. I was say. Hopkins stretches for maybe a mile at most, and you can really feel the lifestyle happening around you. And thanks to Egan and his family, we're reminded once again that human connection is better than any view in the world. Time for the next stop. We're leaving a slow beach town where coconuts outnumber the people, fish is eaten right off the boat, and a layer of joy coats everyone's faces, because everyone's your neighbor. What we're coming into next is the more popular part of Belize, that we thought we would give you a brief taste of, and we think we should see it as well. This is Placencia. It's often a gateway to some of the more popular keys, resorts, and tours offered throughout the Belize Barrier Reef. While not super touristy in the off season, Placencia is hot. Feeling exposed on this peninsula without our air conditioned cabana, we raced for the jungle. Okay, so we get to camp at the Mayan Herbal Sanctuary, which is very cool. They actually have a group of students here from California learning about making their own herbal medicine. But we get to camp in the back 40, and yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It was also very inexpensive. Paying $6 to camp at a herbal medicine garden with the chance to learn is definitely something that was up our alley. So it is Saturday. We've actually been ticking everything off fairly quickly because Belize is not very big. So is this? This is day five? This is day five. This is the start of day five. We are going into the Coxcomb uh, National Park, mm -hmm. Coxcomb Wildlife Basin Sanctuary. Yep. Okay. Um, hopefully get some waterfalls, probably see a drake jaguar because they're very easy to see. Yeah. They kind of just jump out at you. Yeah. So these are the seeds of the Cahoon palm. And this is the oil that they make out of it. What's this one? This one says, I just don't know what it's for. It's a tea. Make a tea out of the hog palm. This one's called Pain Away. It looks like a salve from the Spanish elder piper tree. It smells amazing. It's kind of got like a peppermint smell to it. Stacy says she thinks this is the one they use for soap, and it would make sense because there's a bar that says Copal soap here. It's got this, it's very waxy. It smells great too. Wow. From this tree. Well, this is the one I was looking for. We got afterbite and insect repellent. <laughs> That's amazing. All oh, my feet were just massacred this morning. Hoping to be the best sponges we could for our new knowledge, we head deeper into the jungle, into the only jaguar wildlife reserve in the world. Traveler. It's 
crazy how intact it is still. What does it say? This single engine plane crashed onto the Quamwood tree while attempting to land on the straight stretch of Access Road. Sometime between 83 and 84, the crash was caused by a severe thunderstorm. Also, notable fact is the three occupants only received minor injuries. Stacy and I have found a new mode of transportation. Buckle up. We'll be tubing our ways to Argentina. <laughs> we'll actually be tubing down the Stan Creek River. This is how you see jaguars. This is in the heart of the jungle. This is basically we're in the Amazon hunting jaguars for research purposes. There's a big turtle friend that just went in. I seem to be getting stuck in the cabbage. Oh, rapids coming up. Better buckle up. Oh yeah, we're cruising now. Oh, well, we're not hitting bottom, ouch. Look at my life jacket. I look like I'm drowning in my life jacket. The amount of birds we've seen already is crazy. Yeah. Hurry up, babe. Yep, that's it. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Okay, that one was hectic, everyone. Damn, there were thorns in Yeah, that. my head hit it. Ow. Okay. All right, success. Worth it. <laughs> Number one. Number two activity, commence. Yes. Next. guys if you haven't tried this you may be missing out our unique blend of exotic ginger and crisp refreshment releases a wave of feel-good flavor and sweet Caribbean sunshine in every sip made with authentic Jamaican root ginger enjoy on its own or as a flavorful mixer with your favorite spirit feel the flavor and taste the sunshine of old Jamaica ginger beer it's so tasty. It's the best ginger beer I've ever had. Yeah. One of the great rewards as an overlander is following your nose down a random dirt road and coming to a place like this. And to quote Sean Whale, if you don't reckon this is a decent camp spot, you better check your pulse. Can you believe it? Oh my god. I'm sure you guys were waiting for that one. 
It's been five days and I haven't said it yet. Mm. I think every traveler says that when they come to Belize. Cheers. I sure can Belize it. Yeah, it's worth Belizeing. Back through the foothills of the Hummingbird Highway, we were guided by cooler temperatures. Although this snake wasn't on the venomous list at the start of the trail, it did make me think twice about walking barefoot in the jungle. Still barefoot, but with twice as many thoughts. That wasn't our finest work finding camp, but we did have a really nice dinner. Sorry, you guys didn't get to see dinner. Yeah, dinner was a burger with a f six, six six wings six and wings. fries. Yeah, each. But it was like a Jamaican style burger. It was super like delicious and spicy with peppers on it. It was really yeah. yummy. Um, for like ten dollars American each. Yeah, burger wings. Which fries. is a steal. <laughs> like wings are usually ten bucks. Yeah. And then uh, we unfortunately had to find camp in the dark, which was an error. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got the spot. And it's definitely not a bad spot, but it rained so hard. All night. All night. It, like Vancouver Island rained on us last night. And yeah. Unfortunately revealed. Revealed some work we have to do, which is really fun. Yeah. <laughs> We've been uh, pretty good up until now, but... Mm -hmm. uh, that was insane. Good job, Sunday. Yep, I'm pretty proud of this old truck, I gotta say. Alright, we gotta get some defrost going on here. I'm gonna have to use that in a minute.
is, right? Being welcomed at a <laughs> place is just such a nice difference. Yeah. Our pet for the evening. Realities of life on the road is your vehicle becomes a laundry line. So is a week long enough to explore the wonders of this magical country? I'll leave that for you to decide because hopefully you'll get a chance to visit this beautiful part of the world. We're really glad we came here and we hope we get a chance to see more of it again one day. rich cultural and biodiversity leaves us with questions and answers thank you belize i hope by now we've earned your subscription and if you've enjoyed this film then i reckon you'll enjoy our others